All praises to Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Rakaq Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who are teaching the truth to people without taking into account people's emotions like they're supposed to. All right, all praises to them. All double honors to them, Salakia. Double honors to the apostles. All right, and all praises to Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and Shalawam to the elect to the nation of Israel who are people that are seeking the day of the Lord, even though they know that it's going to be a harsh and gruesome time. But it's something that we have to go through in order to get into the kingdom, man. Shalom to all of, all of those people. All right, so this is um this is a video. I mean, a article here that I found on um. So look here, this is got article I found here, right? On what's coming, man, to the world, and it says province allows province allows grocers to ban. On Veed, food shoppers, right? And I don't, I don't think I really need to go into this too much, but I will go into it a little bit briefly. It says grocers, it says grocery stores in Canada, in Canada's New Brun Brunswick province, are now allowed to lay to lay down the law with shoppers who aren't Veed up, all right, against CV one nine, all right, no jab, no food. Right, so it's getting to where now you, you go to a supermarket in certain places in Canada, right, and they'll be asking you what your medical status seems to be. All right, that's what they're gonna be asking, man. And this, I'm la I'm laughing, but it's not really funny. But at the same time, it is funny because it's something that we have to go through, man. And it, Canada's a big country, man. Right, it's a well-known place. Right, it's right next to America. Right. So it's not hard for it to come over to there. And with how the world is where all these nations follow after one person does something, they all follow suit. It's not it's not difficult for it to come over to where I am over here in the UK. And it's not difficult for it to go to other places in Europe as well. It's quite easy for that to happen, man. All right. And this is this is ultimately it's prophecy. All right. It's prophecy that has to happen, which is going to make people be seditious. And it's going to also cause for some people to be weak and 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 we weed out and sift out certain of those people that ain't really got the faith in Yahweh. Because if you're of the elect, best believe Yahweh's gonna find a way to feed you. Alright? Yahweh's not just gonna leave you out there high and dry. Alright? Yahweh's not just gonna leave you out there with nothing, man. He's not gonna do that if you're of the elect. He's not gonna do that if you fight and show faith in him. And let me get a scripture on that. This is Sirach chapter 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So we knew that this stuff was going to happen, right? And we've been also going through other things too. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be decreased at thy last end. Who's, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state so your health might change, right? And you got to just deal with it, man. Your job situation might change. You got to deal with that. Your your family situation might change. You got to deal with that. Your your actual worldly status might change. You got to deal with it. You got to deal with all that. Be patient when now it change to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So if you're going through things, that means that you're an acceptable man. All right. Yahweh is accepting you. Yahweh said that you're acceptable. If you can make it through the other side, He's looked at you, and He's been like, you know what? Let's try this person out. Just like how when, when Satan came up to the Lord to the Lord in the heavenly realm, Yahweh said to him, Have you tried my servant Jacob? Alright? Have you tried him out? And and we're we're also being tried if we're of the elect. Alright? If we've said that we're gonna worship the Lord, we're gonna get tried. And he's got we've got to go through certain things. So we might not we might go to the shop and they turn us away because we haven't got these things in us. But guess what? The Lord's going to find another way to feed us. So and if there's anyone that's of the elect of the nation of Israel, any believers in Yahweh over in, in Canada, the Lord will still feed you, even if this thing is something that's going to affect you. Because it's not something everywhere, but it's something that there is happening throughout the world, throughout Canada, specifically in that place. Verse 6, believe in him and he will help, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright. So like you order, order thy way aright and trust in him. So if you trust in the Lord, he's going to fight for you. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fail. 
like lest ye fall, ye that fear the Lord, believe in, believe in him and your reward shall not fail. So if you believe in the Lord, you're still going to get the kingdom. Don't fail because of something like this. Don't let something like this stop you. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or who, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? So called upon the Lord. All right, and we're going to have to also call upon the Lord in all the places that we are. If, if we're you know, over here in the UK and it's that rule is to come over here, then we're supposed to trust in the Lord too. But these things are happening to show people that God's not playing, man. It's to show people that God's not playing and that's something that we all have to take seriously. And I'm thinking about it right now and it's something that I have to take seriously. Because as every day goes by, it seems like there's more and more restrictions on what people are, can do and what people can't do. And it's only a matter of time in until it's worldwide. And this mainly is done to attack the scoffers, man, because the people that believe in the Lord ain't going to be harmed by this stuff, ultimately. They're going to be tested by it. They're going to be tried as gold in the furnace, but they're going to be protected from the same. This is Sirach chapter 15. That's like a second Ezra chapter 15. I don't know why I, don't know why I said Sirach. This is second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 16 going into some prophecies relating to these types of events to where things are getting locked down and people are going to not be able to do certain things. I'll start at verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. So there's going to be, that's like a civil war and race war type thing, man, that's going to be happening in the world. For there shall be sedition among men, because there's going to be people that are against their government. And then why are people going to be against their government? Because of stuff like this. They're going to have a person go up to the store, trying to just get some bread, some cereal, some milk, you know, the basics. They might get a bit of fish, you know, the usual stuff that they normally always go to get. They're whistling all the way to the shop. They get, into the, they get to the front of the shop. There's a security guard there, me, looking menacing. And they're, allowed, they're not allowed in the store no more. Or let's say there's not a security guard there and they get to the till, right? And now they get to the till and they try and pull out their car. They try and do a little quick tap and go. And that card gets told, they get told, nah, you can't purchase this because you ain't been, um, you know, you ain't had what we've had. You ain't had the rule of three. So you ain't allowed this, you know. You ain't had the one, two, three, four, five, however many they're going to have, give you until you die. You ain't, they, they ain't gave you that. You know, I don't even know how many, I think it's three now. I believe it's free. The ABC, man, they, 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 they're going mad with it. But it's going to get to where you can't have that. You can't get certain things without doing it. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And that's also going to, there also men are going to be desired to go into a shop and are not be able. There's certain things that are happening right now to where you can't go to certain places if you haven't had certain things. You can't go to another country if without having certain things or without having proof that you haven't got a certain thing. Verse 18, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be, shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So that's obviously a proud place. Why is that happening there? But guess what? Everywhere is proud. So everywhere is going to have this stuff happening to them because everyone's been against Yahweh's laws. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbour, but shall destroy their houses with a sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So men are going to be causing chaos, man. If people find that they can't get food in, in, where, in where they are, right, they're either going to steal the food because they tried to pay and they didn't want to take their money because they didn't have something that they had to take, right? Or they're going to steal from their neighbour, which ultimately they're going to steal from their neighbour anyway. How do I know this? Because the prophecy clearly states that a man shall have no pity upon his neighbour, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. So there's going to be people that might grab a brick, throw it through the neighbour's window and run up in the house, man, with whatever version of the sword they have, all right? Because a sword is ultimately just a killing, a killing instrument. And they're going to do that. And they might have been friends at one time. But that's going to be happening throughout the world. And people are going to live to see that. 
because of their pride. They thought that this stuff could never happen. They thought that this was a civilised place. But it's not a civilised place, is it? It's an evil place. It's a wicked place. It's a prideful place. That's against the laws of God. And that's why he's going to do this to these people. And I'll end, I'll end the lesson there. Right? I'm going to end the lesson there, man. Yahweh is causing more and more restrictions on these people. And it's getting more and more tough. And we're starting to see more and more examples of the things that are going to be happening everywhere throughout the world, all right? We already saw examples of um, stores being like long queues, right? We're looking like ration lines, all right? I saw one queue over here in um, the Midlands, right? That looked like it was the queue, a queue to a theme park ride, man, or like a queue to an amazing nightclub, you know? Like a big, a big, um, if you can even say that a nightclub is amazing, it looked like a big queue, man. It must have had like a good 200 people in there. And when I I'm, and when I asked around at that about that store, they was only allowing a capacity of three hundred in there, so they actually had a capacity to the supermarket, which I've never heard of that in my life. And it was a big store, by the way, a Sainsbury's store. There was had a capacity of three hundred. They only allowed in there at that, that time. So we saw examples of that kind of stuff. So security guards outside of um, supermarkets, right? We saw examples of that. We saw examples of people stealing food. Well, not stealing, but like um, bulk buying, right? Hoarding, hoarding food. People hoarded toilet roll, right? It's empty shelves. We've saw examples of that. We've saw examples of petrol shortages. So what about when all of these things come together in one? And now we're seeing examples of of um, you not being able to buy certain things if the store decides to implement it, which ultimately it's going to get to where you have to have it anyway. And really, it's going to get to where you have to have the thing in your hand or in your forehead, which is mentioned in the book of Revelation, the 14th chapter, the 13th chapter, the 15th chapter, the 19th chapter, and the 20th chapter. And I'll end the lesson there. Shalom to the elected nation of Israel. Shalom.